attention, Lula Chamberlain, your application. Thank you for your application to the Gaston Trust for Imagined Architecture Annual Fellowship. We received a record number of applications this year, over 100 in total, and regrettably we can award only one fellowship position per year. As you know, our review process includes a multi-phase blind committee analysis of portfolio submissions, as well as a careful review by a panel of subject matter experts on each application's nobility and relevance in the field. That's a mouthful. We must be extremely selective in our process so as to maintain the level of standards we have established over our 35 years in operation. Our panel did not select your application. What a long-winded rejection that is. We encourage you to consider reapplying next year. Many young artists and architects reapply for a few successive years before being accepted. Sincerely, Dr. Carl Stone Norton, architecture, architect, guest and trust for imagined architecture. So it's imaginary architecture? Below the printed text is a hastily handwritten note. Sorry for the condescending form letter. I love your work. Unfortunately, I just do the mail here. <laughs> I like that. Um, we'll keep it and put it in the handbag. This is Lula. Um, let's look at proposals. Sort through some documents. I'll put it on a fading letterhead reading Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces. Site hospital proposed used auto dealership. Site 2 distillery proposed used graveyard. <laughs> okay. Proposed site 3 basketball court used as a kennel. Let's check out the hospital maybe turn dealership. Hospital closed to repeated sanitation violations, auto dealership sanitation requirements comparatively lax. Small operating rooms could be repurposed into offices. Large cubicle style administrative offices could be repurposed into showrooms. Eh, what the hell? We'll, uh, we'll endorse it. Distillery as a graveyard. Distillery so active but scaling down operations to less than half of site. Distillery built on top of graveyard originally. Hybrid distillery graveyard could share resources. <laughs> chapel once repurposed into bottling fa facility could be repurposed into chapel. Well, if it's still in operation, I don't want to close it down. I clear my throat. <clears> throat. Busy. How are you, Rick? I shouldn't complain, so... Uh, did you get my note? About the proposal? Eh, we'll go the office party. About the office party? Oh yeah, that. I didn't mean, uh... Hey, I'm probably not going anyway. Lots to do, you know. A lot of new drafts, so... So, how'd the application go? I was in the mail room and I saw you got a letter pack. Sorry, I don't mean to pry, I just saw... It's fine, Rick. I'm not going anywhere. How's your goldfish? Act 2, Scene 1. Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces. How's my doggy doing? Get a good rest in the truck. Um, yeah, I know you love to drive. The wind in your ears. Yeah, I saw you back there. <laughs> uh, let's talk to Shannon. Maybe someone here can point us in the right direction. 
Yeah, it looks like they're still open. Must be a night shift. What do you think they do here? Um, let's say it looks like an office building. Yeah, an office building in a cathedral. <laughs> okay. This is weird, but do you think we're inside or outside right now? Um, I'm gonna say outside. Yeah, outside any man-made structure, I guess. Just feels like it's still inside since we can't see the sky. Well, maybe someone around here has a better sense of direction. Okay, let's take a look at the barrier here. End of the line. Maybe it's still under construction. We can hope. Oh, there's a bell. By all means, that's a ringy dingy the bell. Ding ding. Hello. Anybody? Ah, oh, hello. Well, here you are. Better late than never, I guess. Just unload the whiskey over there by the elevator. I'll figure something out. Um, I'll go with one set all bet. I'm actually pretty busy, but sure, what's up? He says we're outside, but I think we're inside. Wow, okay, um, is that like a philosophy thing? Or are you just lost? We're just lost. You're lost, so you're not the... Sorry, honest mistake. We're supposed to have a little celebration here at the office, but the whiskey never showed up. I saw your truck and thought... But you don't really look like one of the boys from the distillery anyway. What are you celebrating? Oh, the less I understand the better. When I'm here I keep the fans turning and the furnace hot and listen for the bell. When I get home I'm a different person. I don't have to think about it, I just paint. Well, that's kind of lovely. Well it's clear you're new to this territory. I expect you just mean to be passing through. We're looking for Dogwood Drive. Do you know where that is? Dogwood. Mm, nope. You're going to need to talk someone upstairs about that. One of the map clerks. But first, we've got to get you in the system. So you'll need an appointment with one of the ingestion clerks. Now let's see. Ingestion clerks? That sounds a little disturbing. Rick is booked proofreading drafts all afternoon and Wanda's out on a site. Hmm. Let me go make some calls and see if we have anyone free. There's some books over there in the waiting area where you can just take a look around. Have you seen our grotesques? It's down here. Can I go down here? Does not look like it. How about over here? Some books, okay. These books are piled on a table. A service manual for a sewage pump, some architectural plans for a bungalow, and a slim collection of Japanese death haiku. An envelope is protruding from the bottom of the stack. Well, let's look at the envelope by all means. The envelope reads, Bureau of Secret Tourism. It contains several small handwritten brochures with ritualistic directions to bizarre locations. Sounds like a good plan. I know where we're going on our next trip. Let's go check out some bizarre ritualistic, uh, you know, places. What we got over here? Anything fancy? Television is playing a cartoon about a bird. A cartoon bird collects pieces for its nest. A scarf, a plastic shopping bag, a bit of a young girl's hair. The nest is warm but precariously fragile. Okay. A little weird, but all right. What about the other one? Television is playing on what looks like a nature documentary. A hermit crab scuttles across the beach. Its shell is an awkward shape. It must have once belonged to a different crab. 
Oh yeah, hammer crabs change their shells all the time. Looks like our receptionist is back. Hey Marianne. Oh good, I thought you'd left. People can be so impatient. You never know. Well, I have a meeting with Lula Chamberlain. She's a senior clerk and doesn't usually handle the ingestion process. But she's the only one with room on her plate this evening. My schedule says she's on the fifth floor reviewing some diagrams. The elevator is just back to the left there, fifth floor. Okay. Hi ho, off we go to the fifth floor. Ding dong. All aboard. She's on the fifth floor, right? Hmm. She is, but can I actually go and check out all these? First floor, clerk's office. Hello, are you lost? Very much so, yes. Oh, well, let's get you pointing in the right direction then. It's a pretty straightforward process. First, you need to get a case number signed. Talk to Clerk Medsen about that. She's just over there at the end of the room. Happy to help. Okay, Clerk, how are you? Fine, thanks. I just need your ingestion card and a list of your last five permanent addresses. Ingestion card? Oh, no ingestion card? Okay, that's okay. Let's go talk to Clerk Bohm first and he'll get you set up with one. Clerk Bohm is right over there in the corner. Typical bureaucracy. Howdy. Here for an ingestion card? No problem. You run me just through some papers. Happy to help. He opens a few folders and quickly closes them. Um, looks like I'm out, but I know there are some back in the archive. You have to put in a special request with Clerk McMillan. She's the document Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> Straight back at the end of office there by the file cabinets. This is a runaround. Where's Lula Chamberlain? Uh, no, it's, uh, I mean, that's her right there in the cardigan. Thought she's on the fifth floor. What am I, why is she on the first floor? Having fun in the paperclip labyrinth? Well, you made it eventually. You look exhausted. I'd offer you a seat, but my ankles are turning on me. Um, we'll just play this cool. Exception said you could point us in the right direction. This concrete bunker of an office is just a waypoint for you. I'm sure. Where are you trying to go? Looking for five Dogwood Drive. Hmm. Dogwood Drive? That's funny. Do you know I used to live on a Dogwood Drive? This was years ago. A grimy old house, basement full of insects, attic full of birds. Had a few roommates. We all worked at the university. I had a dog. I drank whiskey and beer and made sculptures. But that Dogwood was a surface road with a name like that. It would have to be. What are you doing on the Zero? Uh, I'm gonna say gas station attendant told us we need to take the zero to get there. Gas station attendant, I see. Fr friendly blind man, about my age, hangs out with an old cat, likes to pretend he's a poet. His name is Joseph, do you know? Joseph and I used to work together, and we lived together. We were friends. Well, that's nice. That was a long time ago. We haven't spoken in years. Do you know why he pointed you this way? It's because he's... He's still in love with me, of course, and now he's implicated you quite inconsiderably. And in your condition, that's appalling. So I'm very sorry for wasting your time, but I'm afraid you've been misled. Excuse me. But where's the dogwood drive you lived on? Maybe it's the same one. 
No, it's not possible. Dogwood Drive I lived on is now called Pale Dogwood Drive. They renamed all the streets you see. Too many streets with the same names. It was never a problem before, but now we have these databases and it's all too confusing for the computer. The computer has no sense of ambiguity, so if it claims an error, name collisions they call it. So my Dogwood Drive is Pale Dogwood Drive, and another must be Large Leaf Dogwood Drive or Himalayan Flowering Dogwood Drive. I want to live on Himalayan flowering dogwood drive, it'd be hilarious, and so on. But one of them is still just dogwood drive, or so we might hope. It's really a matter of consulting records, of which we have an abundance here. Do you have a record of those streets? I expect we must. They'll be up in archives and records, fourth floor. They'll be filed under zero for odoms, probably or G for generic, or maybe S for specific, depending on which part of the street name was changed. That's not confusing at all. Guess we'll head toward it. Ding dong. Archives and records, so fourth floor. So I wonder what Lulu was doing on there when she's supposedly in diagrams. I guess we'll go to the fourth floor and find out. The uh hell? -huh. Are there bears on the third floor? Well, while we're here, we'll look at the documents. I like how you can just see kind of a bear head hanging out. Damn, this place is a mess, okay? Hmm, take a look through that logbook, I guess. Maybe there's some kind of system in all these boxes. I'll just start digging. Small logbook has a smart leather cover. A few notes are scribbled on the inside covers. Most pages are just lists of titles, names, and dates. Let's look in the inside front cover. Document staff, please do not transfer any more records from the storage unit till we get the new file cabinets in. We're up to F and that's and that will have to do for now. Instruct clerks to focus on activities beginning with the letters A, B, C, D, E, or F or activities most likely to involve research on subjects beginning with those letters. For example, cars is okay because it involves automotives driving, brakes, etc. But air quality is not okay because it relates to health, safety, pollution. <laughs> okay. How about the back cover? Failing antique shop folder missing. Listed, checked, it, checked in on page 63, but not present. Hmm, interesting. Let's look at page 63. Check in. Failing antique shops, Monday, 3 p.m. Signed by Ed. Okay. Not really helpful, but all right. How about page one? Several documents relating to sporting competition venues were quickly checked out and back in over a period of a few days. Basketball courts, baseball fields, alleys, and parking lots. Not really helpful either. How about page 14? Single set of documents relating to coal mining operation were checked out and back in by several different people within a few hours. Okay, so nothing really helpful. Nothing me either. Half these boxes aren't even labeled and the rest are all the, from the first few letters of the alphabet. Couldn't find anything with a, a zero or a G or an S. Maybe that clerk knows something else we can look. Let's go check out this third floor with the bears. Maybe the bears can help. Okay, your office is down the first floor. Yeah, but I want to explore first. Third floor, bears. <laughs> Third floor, bears. And houseware. <laughs> it literally is a bunch of bears, chill then.
That is bizarre, but hilarious. Okay. I like how the bears kind of like watch you like, hey, what's up? Hmm, okay. Maybe we'll go talk up to that guy on the fifth floor where we were originally gonna go for um, the girl, but she ended me on the first floor. We'll explore. Okay, yeah, I know. We're gonna go to the fifth floor. Diagrams and drafts. Looks like there's a lonely single guy up here. We'll talk to him. You look like a Bob. Are you a Bob? Kind of creepy music. That's better. Greg is hard at work examining some diagrams, measuring angles of the plastic protractor, and occasionally scribbling, number, scribbling numbers in a small leather notebook. Can I help you? Don't answer that. I'm extremely busy with these charts. Maybe one of the clerks on the first floor can help you. You're probably just looking at cat pictures. That's probably true. Probably looking at lolcats. Could have at least been nice to me. I did fix your record for you. Let's check out what's on third floor and then we'll go down to the first floor. Oh, excuse me, third floor is the bear, so let's check out the second floor. Hey bears. The bears. I got a conference room. Can we steal a donut? Some donut and coffee. Hey peoples. I like how everybody just kind of like looks at me, but nobody will talk to me. It's harsh, guys. It's harsh. They're like, nothing to see here. Guess we'll go down and talk to Lula on the first floor. First floor, clerk's office, coming up. Ding dong. Hey Lula. Nothing? That's unfortunate. Well, it must still be in transit. You see, We've only moved into this new venue somewhat recently, and it's all a bit in progress. That was, this was a cathedral not so long ago, can you believe it? I could. And then the Bureau reclaimed it. The old congre congregation has been directed to one of our storage facilities for their activities. Harsh. That's where you'll find the street name records, I expect, at the church. Marion at reception can give you the directions. Just come back here when you have the files, and we'll begin the necessary paperwork to have the information analyzed. Oh, and while you're out on the road, you might want to stop and see Dr. Truman about your leg. He's a specialist regarding alignments of the joints and bones, and I know the work he works at night. His home office is in the small neighborhood at the east edge of the Bowling Greens. Here's his card. Do you stop and see him? That leg is a miserable sight. So, Bowling Greens on the east edge. Okay. Okay, let's go back down to the lobby. So I should visit the doctor and see if we can find the uh, 
the old storage facility where we might have our records at. You got anything new to help me out with? Get what you need? Um, be straight with me. What is this place? Just another office, lady. Just another job. But you kicked out a congregation to set up your office? I wasn't here for that, but yeah, I get where you're coming from. I still wouldn't judge until I'd seen everything. They've got a new church now. The Bureau has set it up for them out of some of our old storage space. I'm sure it's very nice. Go see it for yourself. Let's get back on the zero and drive until you hit the crystal. Then turn around. That'll make sense once you get on the road. You can handle it. Okay. Sounds a little out there, but sure. Alright, come on Blue. We're getting back in the truck. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button and join us next time when we try and find that pesky Route Zero. Till then, good game.